Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin. Today I'm going to be talking about my ARB refrigerator. Now I get a lot of questions about refrigerators in general and I just want to take a video and brag about my ARB refrigerator. Now I don't work for them, they don't pay me for this and they didn't even give me anything to review. I paid full price for this product about four and a half years ago just like anybody else would if they went off the street into a store or went online to buy it. So this refrigerator has been running 24-7 for just over four years now. I've had this refrigerator in two Jeep Wranglers. I've had it in two off-road trailers, and finally, it's found its home in the back of my Toyota Tacoma. Now, the most impressive part is, before I had this topper on the back of my truck, this refrigerator sat in the open. So, Hurricane Irma, every tropical storm, every afternoon thunderstorm, extreme heat, because where I park my truck is direct sunlight, and you add the black bed liner of the truck, and just the heat reflecting off that on the refrigerator, this thing just continuously runs and runs and runs. But it always manages to keep everything cool, never shut off, never drain my truck battery, and most importantly, it's always hanging around between 27 degrees and 31. It kind of just fluctuates in there, but it's usually always at 27 degrees. Not only has this refrigerator held up in extreme conditions, it's actually really user friendly. So you got your power button over here, you got your mode select over here. So this refrigerator actually has a built-in like battery voltage indicator. So if it senses that your vehicle battery gets down to a certain level, the refrigerator will actually shut off. That way you don't come out to your truck and you won't be able to start it with a dead battery. So no matter what I put this refrigerator through, no matter how much power it uses or how long I leave my truck just sitting in the yard or at work or out in the woods, I will never come out to a dead battery. I can always start my truck. I'll never be stranded. So that's a really good feature. It's kind of standard on almost all refrigerators now, but this one uh, I can vouch this one works really well. Um, of course, you got your LCD display right here. Temperature, it says 31 right now, but we've been out in the sun. And uh, the temperature, actually, my topper kind of creates like a little greenhouse. It, it traps the heat in there, so the refrigerator has to work a little bit more than if it was just, you know, in a regular back of an SUV or something, probably. And then over here, you got your temperature, plus and minus over here. You can set the temperature which you want, and then you kind of just set it and forget it. So, really user-friendly. I never ever miss with these controls. So on the back and the front of the refrigerator, there's these nice grab handles right here, which is what I use to secure it with. I have these turnbuckles. Highly recommend these. Really easy. You can get them at Home Depot. I don't think they have the stainless ones. I bought these uh, from a boat store because I had some of these to hold a cooler on one of my flats boats. But those, I recommend turnbuckles for securing this thing. You don't want this thing flying around if you get in an accident or if you're off-roading. But on the back here is our two power sources. It has 12 volt and um, 110. So right here, this cord right here, this is the 12 volt. This is going to a cigarette lighter, which is always hot. That's in the bed of my truck. And this plug right here is for 110. So if you're at the house or if you want to um, take this into, say, a hotel room, if you're traveling and you want to take the refrigerator in there with you, you can plug this into a hotel room, motel room, if you're camping and it's got shore power, you can plug this in with an extension cord. Or sometimes I just take the refrigerator all the way out and just leave it out in the woods. Um, next to the power so the fact that this has both is really handy again up in today's standards that's kind of the normal for refrigerators 12 volt ones for cars so let's just talk about how the refrigerator is held up itself so a lot of fading up here on top which is pretty normal um, nothing is brittle this thing is just as solid as the day i bought it the only thing i did notice is this blue plastic trim around here you can kind of get your fingernails back there kind of separate it but i can't pull it apart so it's still strong in there, it's just maybe there's some glue or something back there and the glue started releasing in the heat. Um, but other than that, I can't pull that down, I can't break it. None of these uh, grates right here that go around the compressor, none of these have been brittle or broken. They're all strong the day I bought it. So this is one of my favorite features of this refrigerator. And I didn't even realize it did this until after I purchased it and I thought I personally broke it. I've been gifted quite a few refrigerators over the years to do reviews on. And this is the only refrigerator I can think of that does this. The Smittybilt might. There's one that's kind of like a clone like the ARB, but uh, I'm not for certain. But I can tell you this refrigerator does it. Now when you buy the refrigerator, hopefully in your mind you have a place of where it's going to go. If it's in the bed of a truck like this, or maybe in an SUV, a 4Runner, what have you, um, most refrigerators, the lids are going to open up like this. So if you're on top of a box or in the back of an SUV, you can't really open up the lid and reach down in there and pull out drinks and eggs and cartons and, and you name it. So what ARB did with this refrigerator is they made the top just pull off. 
So the top comes off and you can reach down in there, you can pull it out on the slide. It makes it really easy. You can put entire bags of ice in there, 12 packs, you name it. And I never have an issue, no matter where this refrigerator is, whether it's just sitting in the back seat of a truck, whether it's uh, in the back of one of our camper trailers, the bed of the truck, on top of the box, doesn't matter where it is. You can always get access to it, which is really nice. And that's as easy as it is to put back on. So here's a close up of the top. After years of abuse and being out in the sun, it's really good condition, not brittle by any means. The only thing uh, is the little ARB stickers hold on for dear life. I'm trying to hold on to that thing as long as possible. But like I said, latch, very strong latch. This thing gets open and closed all the time, a few at least 15 times during a camping trip. And we camp all the time, as you guys know. So go ahead and open it up. And right here, there's a rubber seal that goes all the way around. It's never fallen down. It's never become loose. It obviously keeps the cold in nice and good. So I have no complaints about any part of this refrigerator. And of course, you got your little freezer section over there. And you got a pretty nice deep. I think this thing holds 72 cans. This is the 50 quart ARB refrigerator. So, like I said, guys, I'm not getting paid to make this, but I get a lot of questions about refrigerators and why I bought a really expensive refrigerator. And this is why. This thing is built to last in Australia. These uh, compressors and everything have been known to last over 20 something years. So, if you pay a little bit more money up front and get an ARB refrigerator, this thing is going to outlast probably longer than you're going to be in the hobby of uh, overlanding, camping, off-roading, whatever you want to call it. So, like I said, this thing, even if you're not camping, you don't camp a lot, you can plug this thing into the garage and just keep cold drinks in there on your back patio. It runs off 110. It's really efficient. Hopefully you guys found this review helpful. I have a ton of camping gear that I've used religiously for the last four years, four and a half years that I've been doing YouTube videos and Jeep events and motorcycling across the country. And if you guys want some hardcore reviews on stuff that is known to last, especially with me using it for four years, just drop a comment of what you want me to review. Anything that I own, I have all kinds of crap. 